Hello and welcome back to my sewing corner. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. You're also welcome. Today without wasting time, I'm going to be showing you how to make the skirt of that dress that you can see on the screen. So this dress comprises of uh, a bodice and the skirt. As you can see, it has joining at the half length. I have a tutorial on how to draft the bodies. It will pop up on the screen. But we're going to be drafting the skirts in this tutorial, okay? So and I'm going to be um, illustrating with this my pattern paper. I also have a rough sketch of what it looks like. The measurements you will need for this tutorial, you need your waist circumference, you need your hip circumference, you need your skirt length. So if you're taking, if you're drafting it for a gown, you're going to take your full gown length and subtract your half length from it, okay? To get your skirt length. So... Now you're going to need your nipple to nipple measurement here, okay? So if you're drafting the princess dart on the bodies, you're going to see that you're going to impute your waist dart on the princess dart. So definitely your nipple to nipple measurement is going to reduce by either one or two inches, depending on the adjustment, the alterations you made to on the princess dart. So whatever you have left is what you're going to use for this your first two pleats, okay? Because it continues, it meets with the princess dart of the bodies, the line of the princess dart, okay? If your waist circumference, okay, is 32 inches for instance, and you've already taken your nipple to nipple measurement here let me label it so we have a here we have b here okay so this a and b is your what your nipple to nipple measurement or your dart measurement okay now for your waist circumference you're going to divide that into two okay for the front and the back skirt so definitely the front will be 16 inches so and for a and b we've already taken what eight inches for a and b okay this is eight inches okay by the time you take your nipple to nipple measurement for those your first two pleats immediately after that you're going to give your allowance for the pleat okay so if you want to give it one inch allowance for the pleat or two inches you just take it after that measurement so let me not confuse you let's just do that immediately so i've already folded my pattern paper here and for me this center i'm going to be using four inches instead so that i can use this to explain everything okay four divided by two since it since it's on four that is what two inches so i'll come here and i'll mark the two inches okay i mark the two inches so just after marking that two inches you're going to mark your allowance so for me i'm going to use one inch in this tutorial so you come here and after that point you mark your one inch so i'm going to draw straight lines so that it doesn't confuse us so that we can know what where the allowance is so this is just the allowance for the plates for plates okay so after this one inch, I'm going to take two inches for what we have left, okay? So this is the two inches. Can you see that? So now I'm going to mark one inch again for the allowance, okay? For the pleats. I'm going to mark one inch after that two inches for the pleats. So that means I have what? Three inches in total. So from this point, let me draw a line here so I don't confuse you. You see what I want to do now. Now I'm going to find the midpoint since it's three inches. So this is where 1.5 is. And on this 1.5, I'm going to mark half inch on both sides, okay? Because we want to have the one inch, a uh, one inch equal, okay? So I'm going to mark half inch on both sides, okay? So I'll just draw that. Here also is the allowance for what? For pleats. Please note that by the time you're taking your your measurement, your waist circumference, you know, we already that means in total we have what by the time we fold those allowances for pleats, this is where the waist circumference we get to, okay. So for your hips, it's not going to be straight like this. If not, you won't, it won't enter you. So you come here, you mark your waist to hips. 
So let's say this is where my waist to hips get to. Then you take your hip circumference. Please take note of that. You take your hip circumference. Okay? Because if your hips is more than your waist, so that you don't have any challenge with that, then you connect it to your your waist, so your waistline. So if you want it to be an hill line, you can connect it like this. Or if you want it to just be straight, then you make it straight to the base of your skirt, okay? Let me do the same thing on this other side. This is what my skirt is looking like. So let's say you want your, your pleats to start, your the fullness to start from where your hip line is. So you're going to take that, but if you want it to be lower than that, you can come down by one inch after your hip line, okay? So if your waist to hip started like Let's say, for instance, it's like two inches, you can come down by one inch, okay, so that your flare will start from that point, okay? So you're going to mark that on those allowance, those points for allowance, okay? So just mark that three inches. I'm going to be using three inches for this one. So that means I'm taking one inch below the hip line. So it all depends on how you want it, okay? Okay. Okay. okay so now what you're going to do next i don't know i'm not going to sew i'm always going to pin it so that you can see it so you're going to fold it in fold this allowance here in okay so make sure it meets Sure, it needs like so. So, I'm just going to you can see you're going to make sure that you capture these two lines. So, just two bits. Captures it. This part I'm stapling is where you're going to sew on. Okay. So, by the time you open it up, this is what you have. Okay. So that you can see that there's that point where my flare is supposed to start from that I stopped pinning, that I stopped the, the pins. The same thing I'll do for the other side and this one as well. So guys, once you're done sewing all of the allowances, okay, you are going to have something like this at the front of your skirt, okay? So you can see that this is the allowance that is going to be, that's going to give the skirt the fullness, as you can see, okay? So that's it, guys. As you can see, it's very easy and simple, and it's something that you will want to try, okay? So like I said, if you have not seen that video on how to draft a princess star bodice, please check it out. You're going to find it useful so that you can make the complete dress, okay? So don't forget to click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please click on the red subscribe button to join this amazing community. And also, don't forget to turn on the bell beside it. That way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos, all right? Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.